Good morning, Butters. How are you, baby? Hi, I see Daddy turn on the Christmas tree for you. We know how much you love it. We know how much you love the tree. <laughs> Hi. So she went to school yesterday and we got her groomed. And when she gets groomed, they put a little flower around them. So we have a very holiday appropriate flower here. Don't you look so pretty, little baby? Mm -hmm. And uh, we've switched back over to her fleece. Her black and white striped shirt is uh, in the laundry. Because <laughs> you're a dirty girl. Because you're a dirty girl. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Mishmas. So I just came back from a stride class and I took a core class today, which means that you are basically on the treadmill for, for most of the time. And then twice during the class, we got off to do some like core exercises and then back on the treadmill. So um, that was very, that was great. That was really great. It was hard. The second set of core exercises were really hard. How are you guys? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast. And while I do that, Let's take a look at today's advent calendars. All right, we are back for advent calendar opening. This is, wow, are we on day 14? We're on day 14. All right, we're starting with Space NK as usual. What is the clue? Take it off, take it all off. Ooh, ooh, we've got the fresh soy face cleanser. A good one. This is a classic. I think I would, I would go so far as to say, I believe this is like an iconic product for fresh. A hero product for them. Okay, day 14 for Jo Malone. Oh, we're down here again. I see it right here. Oops. Right here. And we've got, oh, the Velvet Rose and Oud. I love this fragrance. This is actually the diffuser that I had uh, in my bathroom down here, and it was going strong for just about a year. Oh, it's so beautiful. And finally, Diptyque. Let's see, day 14, this big guy up here, what do we have, ooh, we have O Capital, ooh, this smells, um, is it musky, it's very musky, I think, that is definitely unisex, I feel like all the diptyque fragrances are pretty much unisex, all right, day, oh my gosh, I'm losing track, day 14, right? <laughs> The uh, Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, the Velvet Rose and Oud from Jo Malone, and Eau Capital from Diptyque. Just got out of the shower, and I'm gonna put on my um, current body LED, <laughs> LED masks over here, the one for my face and the one for my uh, neck and deck. And I usually like to use these guys like a couple of times a week, two or three times a week, but you know, I've just like lost track of time, and I was realizing I don't think I've used these in probably a week, so I gotta get these on. And while I'm putting these on, let me tell you what we're gonna be doing today. We are gonna be shopping. <laughs> well, we're gonna be going to the Wynn and going to the Loewe Boutique because the sales associate there texted me and they said they're having a, a sale starting, actually I don't know when it starts, but anyway, I said, well, I'd like to come in and you know, take a look at the stuff in person, you know, and try them on, all the all the things. And the sales associate is working today, so I figured I would go in today and take a look. Oh, I have to recharge my battery pack. Oh yeah, this one's better. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let me get these masks on, but we'll do like a quick get ready with me, and then we'll head on over to the win. Well, I decided to air wrap my hair today, and it's so much bouncier than I, in <laughs> than I intended. It is really bouncy. I still only have this long barrel attachment, but I need to get the one that's actually wider. I think this one is too narrow from what I'm looking for. I mean, if you want really bouncy, bouncy waves, that's the way to go, but I wanted something a little bit looser, uh, but I got something really, yeah, really bouncy. Okay, maybe I'll, maybe if I tie my hair back, It'll actually look nice. We'll keep playing with it. All right, this was the best we could do with the hair. I just put half of it up and I have the curls here. They're gonna relax throughout the day, but right now they just look a little wild. I don't know what I did. <laughs> oh, the joys of curling your hair and it not turning out great. Anyway, oh, but I was starting to say that <clears throat> since I'm going shopping at Loewe, I feel like I should put on some 
Loewe items. So yeah, let's see what I can put together. All right, I am all dressed. So I've got my like crazily draped <laughs> asymmetric Loewe denim jacket on. I love this denim jacket. And I remember posting a picture of it when I got it. Was it maybe last summer or this past summer? Um, onto Instagram and some people loved it and some people were like, what the hell are you wearing? So funny. So yeah, I just love it. I love that it's like a cape on one side and then the other side is like a peplum and it's two, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like two denim jackets sewn together and you can see part of it on the back there. Yeah, it's just so neat. As someone who's taken a lot of draping classes, I really, I really appreciate it. Um, and I just have like a white blouse underneath my cropped wide leg Everlane pants. I almost said cause they're Everlane pants. And I have got my Loewe Flow Runners on. And I have two Loewe bags and I wasn't sure which one to carry. I have this flamenco clutch, which I thought would be cute. And then I have this bracelet pouch that I thought would be really neat too. So I think I'm gonna go with the bracelet pouch. This for some reason, I think it looks weird with my sneakers. I think it's the color. I think the color of this bag kind of bothers me with my sneakers, but since this is black, I feel like it just works. So anyway, this is today's shopping outfit. Oh, and I put on my Bottega Veneta hoops. I don't have any jewelry from Loewe, but I did want to put on as much Loewe as possible since that's where we're going. <laughs> Since that's where we're going. All right, well, I need to put on some makeup, so let's go do that. Well, hi, I forgot to hit record. It's like I've never done this before. Um, I am putting on, whoa, I'm putting on a combo of the Brightening CC Serum from By Terry. I can't seem to get away from this. I'm just loving the way my skin looks with this on. So I'm doing two pumps of the Nude Glow and one pump of the Sienna Light. And I'm using my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is a travel version with the shorter um, handle but same head and yeah, I just love it. I love it. Not that much coverage, but it really just makes my skin glow. I am going to try this Sisley Stilo Correct again. I've only used it properly <laughs> one other time. So I'm gonna try it on my spots here. I'm trying to decide if this shade is too light for me. It may be. I should try a different brush. I'm gonna use the um, Angie Concealer Brush which is just like a really mini micro version of the 101 brush. You know, I think when it comes to this product, I think I like it, but that's it. I like it. I don't think I love it. I don't think it blows my skirt up, but it's, it's nice. It's very nice. Okay, I strayed away from this for uh, a couple of days, but I'm going back to my Cure Weiss The Cheek Collective, and I'm going to use, would this work? Yeah, this is the BK Beauty 111 brush, one of the newer ones. I'm gonna use this with the cream bronzer in here. Just add a little bit there. And then I'm gonna take this 109 brush, which is like a smaller version of the 101 foundation brush and go into the blossoming blush in here and pounce that on. So, so pretty. That blush just, I feel like it just makes me look Fresh. I'm gonna skip highlight because this base makes me very lit. So we're gonna skip that. I'm gonna put on the Dior Onset Brow Gel. Yeah, this is almost done. It's starting to get a little clumpy. And then for eyes, I did order that Lisa Eldridge uh, Vega palette. She was so kind in sending me all of her other palettes. Um, and I love them. So I was like, I need all of them. And this is the one palette I was missing. So I had to get it. And let's take another look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? All right. I'm going to go in with this shade over here. And I did also purchase her brushes. So we're going to try, let's see. So there is this one, which is kind of like a it's, it's like a flat shader, but it's a little um, thicker than a regular flat shader. And then I remember we have kind of like a, yeah, like a blender brush, which is pretty oversized. Let me see if I can compare it with 
what I consider to be kind of like a normal blender brush size. Here's a pretty normal blender brush size. This is the S33 from Esam. So just as a comparison. All right, so I am going to, I guess I'll use the fluffy blender. I don't like my hair today. I'm gonna have to tie it back again. <laughs> it's like starting to stick up strangely. Yeah, okay, so I'm going in with the blender brush. I'm going into this shade. I'm just going to dust this all over. I love her shadows because they're not overly pigmented. I talk about that all the time, but I just love when it's like a soft touch of an eyeshadow and they're buildable and you can get like the intensity that you want, but you're not forced. <laughs> you're not forced to have like major intensity. So pretty. And this is one of the seamless matte shadows and it just doesn't look flat, you know? It almost looks like, like a cream shadow. It blends that way. And this is the French gray shade and it is a velvet shade. So she's got quite a few different finishes. She's got velvet, seamless matte, metallic, uh, luminous. Yeah, this one is luminous. This one is metallic. No, I'm sorry. This one is metallic. This one's velvet. This one's a seamless matte. So yeah, she's got quite a few different finishes in her shadows. And I like this brush. It's, um, it's soft, but it's not too floppy. Where are her brushes made? Made in Japan. All right. I still have to watch her video. I'm sure she talks about all of this stuff. Let's move on to this metallic shade, Moon Swirl, which you guys know I'm just like salivating at the mouth to try. <laughs> This is like one of my perfect shades. It's like a metallic taupe. I'm just gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna go into this deeper shade here, which is Turbulence. And this is a seamless map. I'm just gonna pat some onto the outer corner here. Butters just walked in. I was like, what is that? That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, I love that. I'm actually gonna stop right there before I like overdo it and completely ruin the look. Um, so I'm gonna throw on some, actually I'm gonna put on mascara first. I always am in the habit of putting eyeliner and then mascara, but when I forget and I put mascara on first and then I go back and put eyeliner on, it's so much easier. So I'm trying to get into that habit of doing that. And I forgot I had this little sample from Chanel. This is their Noir Allure mascara. And I remember liking it. It has a really, yeah, it has a really spiky, <laughs> spiky, spiky wand. But I like what it did to my lashes. Yeah, it made them kind of like fluttery, which I really like. Okay, now, eyeliner. All right, I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss Precious Opal. I still cannot find my Hourglass eyeliner. Yeah, they're definitely here somewhere. I just have misplaced them. <laughs> Okay, and lips. So I've been wearing the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in Boy a lot. I've been wearing my Rouge uh, Coco Gloss in 804 a lot. That has like come back out to play. One of my longtime favorites. I think I'm gonna go for this, which is my Sicily Fito Lip Twist. You guys know I love this formula. I got number two during the Beautylish gift card event so many events. Yeah, the Beautylish gift card event. I think that's when I got this. Um, and I haven't really used it since I got it. I used it maybe a couple of times. So it's this like baby pink color. And these are tint balms. So they're very nourishing feeling and they're not super pigmented. I don't know. Is that too like Barbie, Barbie pink for what I'm going for today? Maybe, maybe a little bit. Hold on. Let me try something else. So Bobbi Brown had sent me all of their um, Luxe lipsticks because they reformulated them, they repackaged them, and I tried, what color was it? Your Majesty, it was like a really beautiful, deep um, color, like perfect for the holidays. And there was like kind of a cool tone neutral in there that I remembered I wanted to try. And I couldn't remember the name, so I just went through them and I think this is the one, it's called Pink Buff, number 312. I feel like this is one of those iconic um, Bobbi Brown colors, Pink Buff, right? 
this one. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. It's not very pink at all. It's actually much more warm, warmer on my skin tone, but it's pretty. I think it goes with the, um, the cheek and the eyes really well. We're gonna go with Bobbi Brown's Pink Buff. And I think we're done. Well, except for the hair. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna just try and tidy this up a little bit more. Yeah, tie it a little bit higher just to give my head some height. It's looking a little flat there. There, how's that? Oh, the side's sticking out a little. Oh, I think that is better. Okay, wow, this is definitely a different look for me. So we are ready for the strip. So I need to grab some lunch. Should I grab some something on the way? Should I grab something there? The strip is not great for lunch. Like most of the really nice restaurants or whatever, they're only open for dinner. So I'm trying to think if there's anything there. There is that Earth, or Earth, U-R-T-H, Earth Cafe, but there's always such a long line, so maybe not that place. Um, yeah, maybe I should get something on the way there. Okay, because of the way this jacket is draped, it actually sits better on me when I like misbutton it. Basically when I button the top buttonhole with the second button. Yeah, it actually sits better that way because the whole thing is like almost, um, it's like almost on a bias. It's, yeah, it's just so interestingly constructed. I love it so much. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear it like this. And my bracelet pouch bag is generally fine when I'm going out for dinner or something, but I am gonna be vlogging. So I'm gonna have my camera, I'm gonna keep my phone in here. Let's see if this actually like clips around my arm with the phone in there. Oh yeah, it does. So where's, where's my phone actually? Yeah, my phone is like right in here. Okay, all right, that works, that works. So I've got, just a quick what's in my bag. I've got my phone, I've got my car key, I've got my lipstick, which is just free hanging in here. Teresa is dead, really reprimanded me for not putting my makeup into something else, but I'm too lazy. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. I've got my car key. I need a mirror in case I need to apply the lipstick. And I do have to bring readers now. I have to bring readers with me everywhere. So let's do this again. Oh my God. So readers, phone. Let's see if I can just clip it. Yeah. Ugh, squeeze my arm in there. Okay. Well, it does fit. And actually, it's like snugger on my wrist now, which makes it a little bit easier to carry. Otherwise, I'm basically like holding it. Um, but this, yeah. So, I think I am just going to grab something quick to eat before I get to the win. Just, there aren't enough good food options for lunch at the win. And I don't want to wait for that cafe if there is a long line. So I think I'm just gonna go to Starbucks. They have that, is it like an egg white wrap thing? I think I'll get that. Uh, it's like a spinach feta egg wrap. I think I'll get that and maybe, oh my God, is it raining? It's raining here. <laughs> wow. Good afternoon, thank you for your Starbucks. What can I get started today? Hi, I placed a mobile order. The name is Michelle. You said Michelle? Yep. All right, we'll see you after Michelle. Thank you. All right, so since I can't, drive and eat at the same time. I just parked so that I can eat this spinach feta wrap. Ooh, it's very toasty. They must have just nuked it for me. Here we are again, impromptu mukbang. Just totally not what you signed up for, but here we are.
Hey guys, I'm back from the win. Can you guess which handbag I got? Totally unexpected. I went in there to purchase sale items and I got something that was not on sale. Does that happen to you guys? <laughs> Happens to me all the time. I'm like, ooh, sale. And then I buy the one thing that's not, not the one thing, but I buy something that is not on sale. So the things that were on sale uh, were like the puffer flamenco clutches and the puffer hobo bags. And there were a few other things on sale. Um, but I didn't, I wasn't really interested in them. So, um, I checked those out and I just, you know, I didn't like the puffer puzzle bag because it was, um, awkward. It was, you know, the handle, like you could put it on your shoulder, it fit, but would, it would never really stay there because the puffiness just makes it kind of, uh, I guess a little bit stiff. And so it just, even me trying it on, it just kind of kept slipping off my shoulder. So I was like, that's not the one for me. And it was like a little bit. It was a little bit small, like it wasn't, it was kind of an odd shape. It wasn't like the regular puzzle bag. And then I tried the flamenco clutch puffer version and I have, um, as you guys saw, my uh, green like flamenco clutch. So I really, really liked the red one um, and I thought it looked so good with the denim jacket and uh, I almost got that one. I almost got that one, but I was like, I have a flamenco. And so, you know, just as I was kind of looking around um, and I thought, you know, I'm not going to get any of these bags on sale. Maybe I'll just get like a, like a little wallet. Um, I was looking at belts for my husband. I turned around to the men's bags wall and, um, I noticed that they had these big puzzle bags <laughs> and it actually sparked a memory. So on my flight, I think this must've been my flight back from Morocco. Uh, my JFK to Las Vegas leg, I was sitting behind um, a gentleman who was impeccably dressed, which is why I noticed him, just like a really cool outfit. And then he had a big puzzle bag. And I remember looking and I actually followed him when we landed in Vegas and we de uh, deplaned. Uh, I wasn't actively following him, but I was behind him when we were getting off. And I saw, you know, he had a crossbody and it just, it had a nice like slouch to it. And I was like, I like that puzzle bag. You know, I really, really like that one. It looks so good. And anyway, so here I am in La Hueve and they had three of them that size, like the oversized one. And I was like, oh God, I'm in trouble. So I tried on a couple of the gray ones. So they had two kinds of leather. The light gray one is a more supple leather. And so she said, if I was looking for more of that slouch, that that's the version that I should have gotten. So she asked me like, what did I think? How was I gonna use this bag? Was this gonna be like an everyday bag? And I said, actually, and I told the story about the guy and I was like, I think it's a great carry-on or a great travel bag or just a great bag if I need something kind of sizable, but not, not huge. Um, and so she said, well, if you're gonna use it for travel, she recommended getting uh, the grained leather. She said, it's just a little bit sturdier. You don't have to worry about it. So can you guys guess which one? Which one I got? Let me go ahead and unbox this for you. Look at this bag. <laughs> Isn't this intense? It's like so insane. It's all like, it's all gold. Isn't that, yeah, just an incredible holiday bag. So she did put it in the dust bag for me. So I got the dark gray grained leather. So she said this one is not going to slouch as much or as quickly because this leather is a little bit stiffer than that one. She's like, it will eventually, you know, you're going to be using it or whatever. You're going to be putting things in there. So you're going to eventually have like a slouch to this bag. Um, but it's going to take a little bit longer just because this particular leather, I hope you guys can see it. It's green. So it's just a little bit stiffer than the other version um, of leather that they have, which is a smoother one. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the puzzle bag, but on the live stream that I did with Teresa is dead talking about handbags, one of my all time most used bag and probably top five favorite bags is the Givenchy Pandora bag. It's just perfect. It's got a top handle like this that you can put over your shoulder that you can carry. Um, and it has like a crossbody strap and it just has this cool, um, sort of like polygon shape to it. Actually, it's like shaped like a diamond. So for some reason you could fit so much into this bag, yet it's still kind of like lays flat. Like when you wear it crossbody, it just kind of lays against your body. 
it's such a good bag. And someone was like, we were talking about Loewe and someone on the chat said, oh, if you like that bag, you're gonna love the puzzle bag. And I do, I can see the similarities. This one is definitely boxier because it has this um, flat bottom to it where the Pandora comes to a point at the bottom. Um, but I can definitely see the similarities. It's got this pocket on the back, which is great for travel. If you have like documents or whatever, it's great just to throw your phone into. And this flap actually just covers a zipper, which is really nice for traveling too. Here's the inside. Let me take the stuffing out. So it is just an open sack. It does have a shoulder strap. It is adjustable. So she left it on the longest setting for me because the leather is uh, pretty stiff, <laughs> especially when it's new. So she's like, let me just save you the trouble of adjusting it. Here it is, crossbody. Again, this is the longest strap setting. It is like the perfect, perfect, perfect crossbody length for me. I can reach right into the bag. And I'm 5'5", five five for your reference. I just love like this slouchiness. I think it just sits really nicely. And I love this handle, it's so sturdy. It's like, yes. <laughs> and just to show you, I don't know actually if I can show you, but there are, oh, it's so dark. <laughs> it's black in there. There are two patch pockets here, or it's one pocket with, uh, with it sewn down right in the middle. So there's two compartments there. There is like a little, Loewe leather tag there. That's it, simple bag, really, really beautiful. I love it, I'm glad I got the gray. I was really tempted just to get the black. I was like, let me just get the black. I'll wear the black a lot or whatever. And she convinced me to get the gray and I'm so glad that she did. She was like, look, this is such a unique bag. She's like, black just isn't quite as special. Um, and when I tried on this color and the gray color, um, we both agreed, we just liked the dark gray on me, so. I love this. This was such an unexpected impulse purchase. And I really like totally forgot about that moment at the airport until I saw these. I was like, oh my God, I loved that bag so much. So I finally got a puzzle bag, yes. The last time I was actually in Loewe, I asked them what is their like most popular bag. And they said the puzzle bag. And I was like, oh really? I don't know why I thought it was gonna be um, either the flamenco clutch, clutch or the hammock bag, which is like, it's a very similar kind of style to like the Hermes Lindy. I thought it was gonna be one of those, but it was their puzzle bag. Anyway, not that that makes a difference, but I thought that was interesting. And I'm so glad I got a big one because the smaller sizes, I think they're really great. I think they're super practical. They're so beautiful. I don't know, they're just not for me. They're like camera bags, which I think again are super practical. I'm just not the biggest fan of that shape. They're just, yeah, they're just not for me. I don't think they look right um, sitting on my body. But I'm glad I am uh, ending out the year with a Loewe. This is so much fun, and I think it's gonna be really practical and come in very, very handy. All right, guys, that is it for today's Mishmas vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and for joining me. I will see you tomorrow for another Mishmas vlog.